everyone, welcome to Chef Dan's Cooking Tutorials. Here I'm going to show you how to prepare your ingredients, mix your spices and then cook the dish. If you haven't got all your ingredients ready, now is the time to pause the video, get all your ingredients ready and then we can start cooking. But in the meantime, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, now is the time to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you're notified when I post new videos. And hopefully with my uh, experience, uh, you'll be able to cook great Indian cuisine. Hi and welcome, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a prawn puri. This is a very popular starter in an Indian restaurant, so let's begin. First I'm going to show you how to make the puri, and then I'm going to show you how to make the uh, prawn dish that we're going to put on top. Right, let's begin the two part process of making a prawn puri. First part is to make the dough, and what we're going to do is put one cup of plain flour and half a cup of chapati atta. You can use 100% chapati atta if you wish, it's entirely up to you. Uh, to this I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of salt and also to make it a little bit softer I'm going to use uh, about a tablespoon of oil. Now what we want to do is mix this in well so that everything gets incorporated uh, before we add our water. I'm going to use a, probably about uh, 110 grams of water here so uh, just mix it in a little bit at a time so it all gets together and binds together add in a little bit of water uh, at each time until we get the right uh, consistency of, of our dough as you can see it doesn't take too long to put together then what we want to do is just uh, give it a little bit of knead here and then incorporate all the flour what's in the bowl bringing it all in so your bowl should be nice and clean so add a little bit more, that should do the trick, and that will bring everything together and clean the bowl. So then what we want to do is basically knead it for a couple of minutes, uh, just to uh, bind everything together really well, before we leave it to rest for about half an hour. But when you do leave it to rest for half an hour, make sure that you cover it with cling film, uh, which uh, I'll show you in a minute. Now cover and leave for about half an hour. Leave it in room temperature and we'll come back to it a bit later. Now the dough is perfect and now we're going to make our dough balls. To get restaurant style puris they need to be uh, 50 grams in weight. So uh, if you want weigh them to 50 gram and then roll it like you see. I'm slowing this down to show you how to roll the dough to make them into little balls first. Is This is the key to getting them fluffy. So uh, with the thumb just roll it gently on your palm of your hand and bring it in. This you would do also for chapatis as well, so that way the chapatis will fluff up as well. So just watch this video and uh, make sure that you follow uh, this technique to get perfect puris. Today I've made uh, my prawn puris a little bit bigger than normal, but I have made one a little bit smaller what I'm going to use for my prawn puri which you will see a bit later. Now we're ready to make the puri so what you want to do is get it well floured your surface and just roll it outwards. Start from the middle and just kind of roll as you can see and it, it will just uh, uh, be quite easy to make. I'm using a stainless steel uh, rolling pin here, a really heavy one, uh, and it makes my life more, much easier because I don't need too much pressure. So basically just roll it out 
uh, it must be quite thin as well, maybe just a few uh, millimetres thickness, uh, and that what makes the puri nice and fluffy. So keep rolling it out evenly. It can't be uh, more thicker on one side and thinner on the other side. Just make sure that it's the right thickness all round, as you can see. And then just brush all the uh, flour away and then put it on a plate. We're going to fry these uh, straight away, but so uh, it's, it'd be fine. But if you leave them out in room temperature, they will uh, be hard to manage. This one is the one uh, which is the 50 gram one, a bit smaller, and uh, this will be the one I'll be using for my prawn puri. So just roll it out gently. Don't, take your time, don't rush it, uh, and make sure it's well floured and it won't stick. Just out, that's it. Perfect. This comes with practice, so the more you make these, the more uh, better you become. So once uh, all your puris are ready, then we'll be ready to fry. Right, now we're ready, what I want you to do is preheat your oil uh, to about 180 uh, degrees centigrade and uh, then once you put it in at this temperature just keep pushing it up and down in the oil and this will make it puff up. This is a, a little one I've uh, done just to test the oil to make sure that it's uh, the right temperature. Uh, if you uh, the oil is too hot it will dry the puri out and it become very crispy as well but if you don't like it too crispy then don't brown it just do it a couple, about a minute or so on one side, turn it over, a minute or so on the other side, and that's it, it's done. But just push it up and down in the oil, and that will make it puff up, as you can see. And this will be a perfect for you. It's not thick at all, it's just nice and light. Now the puris are ready, we're going to start on the other half of this dish to make it the prawn puri. So we're going to cook our prawn dish. Now what I've done, I've used fresh prawns and uh, I've deveined them and cleaned them out well. Always make sure you just slice it at the top of the prawn and take the veins out and the dirt. Right, what I'm doing here is putting a lot of oil in the saucepan to let it get really hot and what this will do is make the pan non-stick so that it won't stick to the pan so you can do this a couple of times so take away the oil then again put cold oil and let it heat up but now we're ready to uh, fry our prawns off so that uh, we're not going to uh, cook these prawns with the curry uh, only at the end for a couple of minutes to uh, bring it all together because if you cook prawns too much they will shrink and we don't want shrinkage so uh, just put it in the fry pan and what I'm going to do now is just sprinkle it with a little bit of salt as you can see and some mixed spice and then we're going to just cook these prawns uh, maybe uh, 30 seconds or so or on each side there, there goes the mixed spice I'm going to put in. So this will uh, give the prawns a nice flavour as well. Just ro toss it around in the frying pan like you see and turn it over. This doesn't take long. I reckon it'll probably just be about under 30 seconds. So make sure the oil is not too hot. So this way uh, the prawns can just cook quickly and uh, retain the shape and size. That's it. Now we can just take them out and put them to a side and uh, put together the curry now.
we're going to use the same frying pan because we have a lot of flavor in here from, from the prawns. So I put a little bit more oil and a little bit of garlic, probably about half a teaspoon. Some green pepper and red pepper if you have. Some chopped green chili. Give that a little bit, a little bit more oil probably. Yeah, give that a nice stir. Let that garlic cook a little bit out. Now we're putting our tomato sauce, what we've made. This you'll find uh, on my channel as well, how to make it. And these are the buna onions, which I'm using. So you'll find this on uh, my channel as well. So here I'm putting in meti leaves and some fresh coriander. Turn it down a little bit, make sure it doesn't burn at all. A little bit more onion, yep. This is looking really nice. Now my base gravy. You don't need a lot, we just need probably about three big tablespoons of base gravy and some fresh tomato. That's it. Now we're going to cook this out for a little while. So it cooks uh, for about two or three minutes before we're going to add our prawns and finish off. To create this prawn puri to perfection, you need to cook my base gravy and my buna onions. You'll find all these items on my channel for you to replicate. So uh, make sure you uh, use my buna onions and uh, my base gravy to get the maximum flavor of this dish. I would leave the links uh, for the base gravy and uh, the buna onions in the description for you to easily obtain. Turn it down to really low now and what we're going to do is just put a lid on it for about a minute or two, just let it cook gently but it must be really low temperature as you can see. It's just cooking out basically all the flavors from the prawns as well. Now we're ready to basically add our prawns. So we're going to add our prawns, give them a good stir and again we're going to just let this cook out for probably about a minute or so, not too long. So put the prawns in, give it a good stir and then again put the lid on it for just a about a minute, less than a minute. Right, now we're ready. As you can see, the oil has been released and it's just ready now to serve uh, on our puri. So what we want to do before we serve as well is just take the oil out. So if you heat it up really well, uh, all the oil will go down to the bottom. So just tilt it up and let it get really hot. This works really well on gas burners, but on the induction it's a little bit more difficult because as soon as you lift it up, it breaks contact and it doesn't uh, get hot. But on a gas burner it's perfect. You really get it hot and all the oil will go down to the bottom. Well, this is my prawn puri. I hope you enjoy this dish. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and uh, hit the notification button as well so you get notified. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon on my next video. My Prawn Puri.